and hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a TF2 video where I will be discussing weapons for each class, primary, secondary, and melee. Um, so if you don't know this game, there's nine classes in TF2, three offensive, three defensive, and three support. I will be discussing um, each one in turn with uh, its weapons, and today will be the scout. Now this isn't it, it, it will go through the tall of the scout so let's just open up this there's one weapon I don't have in the primary section which is the force of nature which we won't really go into that so what I'm gonna discuss is these are the scatter guns this is the pepper gun and these um, and the soda popper and the other one the force of nature are double barrel shotguns I'm gonna call them so the scatter guns are the best okay these two are the best the short stop is cool. It is a good weapon. I like it a lot. Soda popper's cool, and this is cool. Now, what you want to do is the scatter gun and the base blast to do tons of damage. In no way, these two are the two best in the game. The scatter guns. The short stop is a good. I don't know why. I personally don't really like the short stop. The soda popper's cool because it has a ton of different things such as fast firing speed uh, and a faster reload time and it shoots it's it's a good weapon it doesn't have the damage decrease and then you can jump like a bunny the force of nature which I don't have here which would be like somewhere in here probably about right in between the shortstop and the soda, soda popper basically it's just the same as this except it doesn't build hype and it has less damage now, the best two are the Bayface Blaster and the Scattergun. Both of them are really good. Um, but the Bayface Blaster you only use on certain maps. Um, the reason why some maps are not compatible with the Bayface Blaster. Now, on to the secondaries. Well, I have. I think I'm missing maybe one, but I don't know. Flying Guillotine is really good, and c is really good because it can feed. It, it's a really nice weapon. It makes people bleed. And, and long distance calls mini crits and I haven't got that yet so I'm sad about that but basically if you hit someone with it they're bleeding and you just shoot them there it's kinda like the the Sandman in that it's more of a like degrading weapon it doesn't go for kills unless they're really low bonk atomic punch just makes you invincible for a short amount of time good if you want to get past dudes and distract the enemy criticola makes you faster um... you take less damage and all your attacks are mini crits so it's a good viable weapon never underestimate the mini crits man milk if you hit it on someone sixty percent of their damage done is returned to them as health which is amazing i don't use it so much just because i'm more of a solo scout and I think it's just, unless you're a uh, team playing scout, you shouldn't be using this. The pistol is a really viable option. It is used to finish off enemies when your scatter gun's out of ammo. Pretty boy's pocket pistol, you never take fallen damage. Really good with the baby face blaster. Um, you get 15 health, but you are slower firing speed, which isn't bad with this weapon at all. The big thing, 50% fire, uh, fire damage vulnerability on the holder, which is nasty it is nasty it will tear if so you gotta stay away from pyros if you're using this but it's really nice because you never take fall damage um i know i'm missing the boston basher and i don't know if i'm missing another one the sandman basically you have less health and something that you may want to do is um use this because it cancels it out but I don't think that's a good option. And then the bat is just normal melee damage. The Sandman launches a ball, and if you hit someone, depending on how far away they are, it will either stun them, do damage, or stun them for the full 8 seconds, which is a long time, and may really help out a team. The bat, just a simple melee weapon. The, the holy mackerel, it's the bat, except it's a fish. And basically it'll say in the chat how many times you hit somebody with it, and it will say, fish kill when you kill someone so it's really fun to use um, I sometimes use with this is I'll just do this the high speed scout set which um, star made which is really fun to use and last but not least the rap assassin basically you don't do any damage with this no damage at all but it bleeds people 
So let's switch this back to what I like them. And so that is the scout. Basically, there's mm, basically the scout. What he's supposed to do is go in there, take shots that do a lot of damage, and kill the person. That's what he's supposed to do. And if you're not doing that, that's kind of that's what you're supposed to be doing. That is. So that was the scout. Um, that was the scout. <laughs> I love this. Basically, basically, um, <laughs> he's really fun. He's used more of a solo class, and if you're using stuff like the Sandman and the Mad Milk, should be used in a team basic situation. And he's really hard to hit, so he's got a small hitbox area and stuff. So, that was my scout tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember that the scatter guns are these that I call them. Bayface Blasters, n not horrible. It actually is really good, and I may show a clip in the future of it. And thank you very much for watching. There will be new series in the future doing the rest of the classes, such as Spy through Soldier. And I have a ton of weapons, as you can see that I can debut, and we'll debut all of them. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.